There will be less fun and games as part of the giant 70 acre Lincoln Yards project. Plans for a soccer stadium and entertainment district on the north side are scrapped. CBS 2 political reporter Derek Blakely is live at Lincoln Yards to explain why. Derek. Rob, Ed Burke's troubles have certainly shined a negative spotlight on an alderman's control over permits and zoning. But here in the second ward, Alderman Brian Hopkins used his authority to quash a Lincoln Yard Stadium, and residents seem pleased. The proposed 20,000-seat soccer stadium and entertainment district generated plenty of heat during weeks of neighborhood meetings and surveys. Second Ward Alderman Brian Hopkins says he got the message. Uh, it became clear that the soccer stadium in particular and also the entertainment district uh, just did not have sufficient community support. Uh, they were generating, on the contrary, a lot of opposition, so I reached the conclusion that they simply had to go. The primary concern, traffic congestion. But the entertainment district also drew opposition from Chicago's independent music industry because music giant Live Nation would own it. They just didn't want to have to go up against this uh, multinational conglomerate Live Nation uh, to compete for the same bands. Elimination of the soccer stadium is also a blow to Chicago Cubs owner Tom Ricketts, who brought a franchise in the United Soccer League to play in the venue. Developer Sterling Bay envisions the now vacant 70-acre riverfront site as a bustling complex of high-rises, offices, homes, and retail. But it acknowledged the stadium opposition, saying, We have removed the stadium and broken up the entertainment district, both moves welcomed by residents in adjacent neighborhoods. We know it's going to be completely horrible <laughs> with, with our new Lincoln Yards, but I just don't see the point in having a stadium there. I thought it was overly ambitious for the area. I thought it would bring too much traffic and mess, and I just didn't see how it was going to work. Neighborhood surveys showed 53% of those responding opposed the stadium, with 23% in support and 25% undecided. We're live near North and Besley Court. Derek Blakely, CBS 2 News.